Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download videos from websites using the Mozilla Firefox browser and the FlashGot plugin for that browser. So, first thing you need to do is open up your browser, your existing browser, and go to Google, type in Mozilla, and it will give you links to the Mozilla Firefox browser. We're just going to click on this link here, which is download Firefox, take it to the website, and then the Download will automatically start, but I don't need to do that because I've already got Firefox installed and I'm not going to go through the installation process because it's uh, pretty simple. You just, to, you just have to click next, continue, etc. When you get to the end, it will give the option to import data from your existing browser, wherever it is. Uh, I suggest you do that because um, it will be uh, useful for you, um, you know, because it will import. All your favorites and your, your existing passwords and things like that which makes navigating the internet much easier um, than it would be if you didn't import anything so that's the installation of Mozilla Firefox the next thing we need to do is go back to Google once that installation is finished and we need to type in flash got this will give you links to the flash got plugin that we need to install and there's the official website there, which is flashgot.net. We're going to click on that. Just show you what this uh, website looks like. And uh, all we need to do is just click on the install button and follow a very similar procedure installation, which is very easy. And then once that's done, if you're using the uh, Mozilla Firefox browser, you might need to just close it and then open it again but the program will tell you that or it will do automatically anyway and then once that's completed the um, FlashGot plugin will be integrated into your browser now this is, a, this is a great website for downloading movies and TV series and things like that and it's called movieplanet.tv so if you go to Google again type in movieplanet.tv with no spaces it will give you a link to this website here now uh, as you can see there there is a description watch movies and TV series online free which is exactly what I want so we're going to click on that and it takes us to this page here right now you do need to register with this website but it's pretty easy and uh, you don't get any spam or anything but it, it just sends you sometimes uh, updates about movies that have been just been uploaded recently and things like that <coughs> now you can you can search by hovering over the buttons at the top there and when you do that you can you can choose the links and everything that you want now I'm just going to go to hover over there new videos and then you can see new episodes and new movies if you click on new movies it will show you all of the uh, latest films that are available now I'm going to try and download this one here, which is RZ9. So if you click on that, it takes you to this way, this web web page here. Now there's a description of the film, and you can see straight away there's an advert over the top. Of, now normally there's a play button in the, in the centre here, but there's an advert. And if we look at it, there's an X that that was there, and now it's appeared there. All right now you get all different types of uh, adverts on here. Some of them might be a big play button. You need to click on the X to close the advert. And when you do that, it's going to open up um, some pop-up pages, which we're going to have to close as well. So I'm just going to click on that X there. Straight away, you can see the pop-ups coming up. Let's minimize that. I'm going to close them. That just popped up because uh, they'd be quite annoying. So now we've got the play button. So I'll just click on the play button. Now that is uh, starting to download, and it'll be uh, playing in a moment. But if we go to a blank place on the screen where there's no links, because we don't want to, we don't want to click on any any link. A right click with your mouse on a blank place on the screen. It could be anywhere. It could be just below the, the uh, player there. As long as you click on a blank place, you will get this pop-up um, option. And you can see the Flash Got Media plugin is there and it's got one file. So we just click on that. The Huawei Mate 8. 
I've got an annoying advert in the background. Let's close all of them. So I had to minimize that. I then close all the adverts in the background. But I'll just show you that again. So you right click on a blank place on the screen and upward up pops up the um, this menu where you can select the Flashcop media play uh, media plugin and it will show you how many media you've got there to download. Now if it's just one, the download will start automatically. If it's more than one, you get another pop-up screen and you have to select them and click the OK. <coughs> so, which I'll show you in the next video. Uh, the next one will be how to download from YouTube. But up here on the top, you can see there's a, a timer. And if we hover over that, it's uh, going to tell us a little description. It did do a second ago. Display the progress of ongoing downloads. Now, you can press Control J or you can click on that. So let's try Control J. So back to the keyboard, Control key J. And there you go. There's there's our download. Now when this finishes, we can double click on that and it will play in your player. Or on the end here where this X is, there will be a, a link to the folder where this has been saved. And then I'll just show you, just close that and we just minimize that here. Now I know where the folder is on my computer. Uh, some people it's uh, documents, no, it's, it's some, pe some, some, some operating systems and some computers it'll be, uh, it'll be, um, it'll be in your, yeah, your documents. Um, it'll be in your documents. And then it will be in a in a folder called downloads. But I've got a link there on my computer, and you can see there is the file that we are downloading at the moment. We could try playing that. Uh, if I use uh, VLC player instead of see, it, it will play in, in VLC player. So you can see we are actually downloading that film. But it, it won't play in um, the Windows Media Player. So that's another thing I suggest you do is uh, go back to Google and type in VLC. And it will give you a link to the Video LAN Media Player. Download and install that because that is probably one of the best players for watching these downloaded films. Well, that's it, my friends. Um, that's how you download and even watch films from websites. Thank you for watching, and um, I hope that was useful for you.